Chapter 1 City Life 1. Making Telephone Calls Dialogue 1 Hello. Good morning. Who is that speaking? It's Jane. I'm so sorry that I made such an early phone call. It's nothing. Who do you wish to talk to? Is Sue in? Sue? Jane wants you on the phone. Hello, is Sue there? Yes, speaking. Oh, sorry, I'm afraid I won't attend the meeting this morning. Last night I had a sore throat and I started getting hot. Don't worry about the meeting. You'd better go to see a doctor. I wish you will be well soon. Thank you, Sue. Bye. Dialogue 2 Can I talk to Mark? Hang on, okay? Let me see if he's here. Sorry, he's not available right now. Do you have any idea where he is? Sorry, I don't know. Do you know when he will be back? He should be back in 30 minutes. Can I leave a message? Of course. Hold on for just a second so I can grab the pen and paper. When he comes back, can you have him call me at 206 555 1212? Can you repeat again, please? 206 555 1212. I'll have him call you as soon as he's back. Two, in the post office. Dialogue 1 Good afternoon, madam. What can I do for you? Yes, I want to buy some postcards. Do you know where I can get them? Yes, you can buy them here. We have three kinds of postcards. One dollar, two dollars, and five dollars. Which one do you want? Oh, can I have a look at them? Yes, please. Hmm, I want this card. Is it two dollars each? Yes, how many do you want? Three. This is ten dollars here. Here's your change. Thank you. One more question. I can send my postcards from this post office, right? Yes, madam. Our office hour is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Okay, thank you very much. You are welcome. Dialogue 2 Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Yes. I want to send this package to Beijing. Which window should I go to? Go to the window marked Parcel Post. Thanks. I want to send this package Parcel Post, registered. What does it contain? There are three books. Do you want it insured? Yes, please. For $30. That will be 60 cents. Here are your stamps. Thanks. Wait a second, sir. Yes? You forgot to put the return address on the package. Oh, sorry. I'll put it on right now. Now, here is your receipt. Three. In the bank. Dialogue 1. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? Yes. I'd like to withdraw some money from this account. Okay. How much do you want? $500. Can you fill out this form, please? You need to write down your name, your account number, how much money you want. Sure. Hold on for a moment. Here you are. Thanks. Sir, please enter your password over that machine. Okay. I'm sorry, sir, but your password is wrong. Really? Can I try it again? How about this time? It's correct now. Here's your receipt. Please sign at the bottom of it. Okay. Here you are. Here are $500 and your account. Please press the button to give a score for my service. Thank you. Dialogue 2 
Excuse me, sir. Yes, may I help you? I'd like you to cash this check for $100, please. Do you have an account with us? No, actually, I'd like to open an account right now. What kind of account would you like to open? A checking account. Please fill in these forms. Can I have your ID card to make a copy? Yes, sure. Here you are. Thanks. Please finish these forms. I'll be right back. Thank you. Did you finish the forms? May I have them back? Yes, here you are. Now how would you like this check cashed, ma'am? Ten tens will be fine. Here you are. Four. Taking the bus. Dialogue one. Excuse me, does this bus go to the newly built cinema? No, you'll have to get off at the bookstore and take number 39. Thank you. How much is the fare to that stop? One dollar. How many stops are there? Three stops, including this one. That's not too bad. By the way, do I need a transfer again after number 39? No, a number 39 will take you right there. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, I've been waiting here for 15 minutes. Do you know how often number 9 runs? Oh, it runs every 20 minutes. You must have missed one when you came here. It would be here any minute now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Do you mind if I ask you where you are going? I'm going to the hospital. Okay. Actually, you can take both number 9 and number 12 to the hospital. Really? That sounds great. By the way, do you know where I can find a bus schedule? You can go to the transportation department to get yourself a bus schedule and a bus routine map. It's just around the corner. I see. Thank you very much. Five. Taking the subway. Dialogue one. Can I have two tickets? To which station? Oh, we are going to the art gallery. Which subway should we take? Take the line five and transfer to line one at the central bank. Okay. How many stops in total? Ten stops. This is the subway map. You can keep it in case of getting lost. Thank you. How much are the tickets? Two dollars each. Here you are. Here are your tokens. Have a good day. Dialogue 2 Excuse me. Can you tell me how I can get a subway ticket? Go to the auto machine over there. I'm a newcomer here. Can you show me how to use it? Sure. You need two one dollar coins. Put them in the slot and click one ticket button on the screen. It's very easy. Okay, but I don't have any coins. Where can I get some? You can change some at the service center. Can they take a $20 bill? I think so, but you need to ask them. Okay, I think I can handle it. Thank you very much. Six. Taxi service. Dialogue one. Taxi! Get on, please. Where do you want to go? Please hurry. I'm late. I need to be at the railway station in 20 minutes. All right, miss. Take it easy. How exactly do you figure out the fare? According to the kilometer rate, the first three kilometers are $10 and every kilometer extra costs you $2. Oh, I see. Here we are, miss. Thank you. How much do I owe you? You owe me $28. That's $30. Keep the change. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Hello. 
Hello, is this taxi service center? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? I'm going to the airport tomorrow. I want to book a taxi. Okay. Can you tell me when you need it? My flight is at 10 o'clock in the morning, so I think the taxi should pick me up at 7.30. 7.30 a.m., no problem. Where can the driver find you tomorrow morning? Number 345 York Street. By the way, do I need to pay any extra for my suitcases? Yes, you are charged one dollar a piece. I see. Thank you. Seven. Calling for the lost. Dialogue one. Emergency assistance. May I help you? I've just been robbed. Can you help me? Yes. Are you injured, Miss? No, I'm just scared. Stay calm, Miss. Can you tell me your name and where you are? My name is Emily Davis. I'm calling from Motel 23 on Pine Street. Please stay there. Our officers will meet you in less than three minutes. Thank you very much. Dialogue two. What can I do for you, sir? I lost my backpack. Do you know when you lost it? About 20 minutes ago, I think. Can you still remember where you saw it last time? I put it down on that chair, and after I came back from the toilet, it's gone. Okay, don't worry, sir. We will take care of it. Now, could you let me know your name? Ben Scott. Your cell number, sir? 708-6356. Okay, we will let you know when we find it. Thanks a lot. Eight. Identifying lost items. Dialogue one. Can I help you? Yes. I got a call told me that you've found my suitcase. Hold on, sir. What's your name? Mike Jones. Okay, please follow me. Could you tell me what's in your suitcase? Some clothes and some important files in it as well. Oh, and my passport. Okay, Mike Jones? Yes, it's me. All right, sir. You can fill out the form and get your suitcase back now. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Dialogue 2 Did you see my purse? Excuse me, you lost your purse. Yes, it's brown. Is this your purse, miss? No, it's not. Don't worry. Can you describe your purse? I'll try to help you. It's a leather purse in brown, and there is a logo in the center of the surface. Okay. I got it. I'll let you know when we find it. Thank you very much. Nine. In the library. Dialogue one. Good morning. Morning. What can I do for you? Yes, I'm a new student here. I'd like to know how to use the library. You need your student identification to check out books. Okay, and how many books am I allowed to check out? Five books at a time. How long can I keep the books? For 42 days, including weekends. Don't pass the due day. Can I renew the books after the first 42 days? Yes, you can do it on the library website, but you can only renew once in one semester. I see. Thank you. You are welcome. Dialogue 2 Can I help you? Have you got the latest Time magazine? Yes, but it was checked out. Oh, really? I've missed it again? It's popular, you know. You want to reserve it? Yes, please. Fill out this form and we'll send you a note when we have the book back. Thank you.
10. In the hospital. Dialogue 1. Come in and sit down. What's the trouble? Doctor, I have a bad cough and a sore throat. Do you have a fever? I don't know, but I feel terrible. First, let me take your temperature. Okay. Don't worry. You are just having a bad cold. Go home to bed and take one of these pills every six hours. You'll be fine soon. I got it. Thank you. Drink more water and get a good rest. I will. Thanks again. Dialogue 2 Hello, doctor. What's wrong with you? I have a backache. Do you often suffer from the backache? No, I never had one before. How long does it last for? Almost four days. Let me see. Well, go home and get some rest in bed. It's not a big deal. Can you give me some medicine? It's really painful. Okay. Take one pill a time and three times a day. If you still feel bad in four days, come back again. Thank you. Eleven. In the drugstore. Dialogue one. I'd like to buy a bottle of Centrum and two toothbrushes. Centrum? We have bottles of 30 and 50 tablets. What kind do you want? Give me two bottles of 50. And what kind of toothbrushes do you want? Can I have a look at them? Sure. I want this for two. Anything else? No, that'll be all. How much are they? Twenty dollars. Thanks. Dialogue 2 May I help you? Yes. I need to get this filled. Okay. Do you have a prescription card? Yes. Here it is. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll wait here. Okay. Twelve. Calling for an ambulance. Dialogue one. Look, that man just fell down over there. Oh, God. We need to see if he's okay. Hey, man. Are you all right? He is not responding. We need to call an ambulance. Let me dial 911. 911 here. How can I help you? There is a man passed out. May I have your location, miss? Maple Street, near the church. Okay, miss. The ambulance will be there in two minutes. Please stay there. We'll find you. All right. Please hurry. Dialogue 2 Here is 911. Can I help you? Yes, emergency. There is a huge fire here. Stay calm, sir. Could you tell me your name and location now? My name is Smith. I'm on the corner of South Street. Okay. How many people in the house, Mr. Smith? Three people. Someone had been passed out. Please send an ambulance. All right. Our men will be there in three minutes. Please come immediately. Thirteen. Visiting a patient. Dialogue 1. Betty, how are you today? I feel better. Thanks for coming. You look good. What did the doctor say? He said it was a minor operation, so I think I don't need to be worried. Yes, you will be fine soon. Did he say when you can go home? No, I should ask him later. Not in hurry. You should take some good rest. I think so. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes. Can you ring the nurse? It's time for another injection. Dialogue 2 Hey, how are you feeling today? I'm fine, thanks. I brought you some flowers. 
Thank you. Did you talk to your doctor? What did she say? She said it was not very serious. I can leave hospital next week. That's good. Is there anything I can do? I want to go to the toilet. Let me go with you. No, thanks. I can take care of myself. Okay, be careful. Fourteen. On the commencement. Dialogue one. Hello, going to the commencement? Yes, I suppose you're going there too. Sure, let's go together. Who's going to make the opening speech? The president of our college. Who's going to present the diploma? It's a secret. Have you given your graduation invitation to your friends? Yes, and I invited my parents to come as well. Dialogue two. Hey, congratulations. Thanks, you too. We should be proud of ourselves. After all these years slaving, I wouldn't miss the commencement for anything. Yes, I agree. Did you pick up your robe yet? Yes. How about you? Not yet. I'm going there now. Okay. So I'll see you there later. Sure. I'll meet you there. We definitely need to talk. Yes. See you later. See you. Fifteen. Birthday party. Dialogue one. Happy birthday! You look so beautiful tonight. Thank you. This is for you. Oh, you are so sweet. Why not open it? Sure. Oh, it's a cat. It's so cute. Don, I really don't know how to thank you. I'm glad you like it. Her name is Lily. This is really a nice name. Dialogue two. Happy birthday, Anne. Many happy returns of the day. Here's a present for you. Thank you, Peter. Come into the dining room. We're going to cut the cake soon. Okay. Who's that girl? That's Kathy. She's pretty, isn't she? She likes dancing. Go and ask her to dance. Well, I don't know. Don't be afraid. She isn't going to bite you. Who's afraid? I'm not afraid. Then come on, please. Sixteen. At the wedding ceremony. Dialogue one. Great. So you're here with Mark. I've been looking all over for you. Congratulations on your marriage, Jane. And nice to meet you, Paul. Thank you. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, a grand wedding party. Have you opened the gift I gave you? Yes, thanks a lot. Hawaii is a nice place for the honeymoon. What wedding gift did she give you? Two plane tickets to Hawaii. I want to thank you as well, Mark. I love the picture. It's just what we need. I'm glad you like them. It's late. I think I'll have to go now. I'm leaving too. Let me give you a ride. Dialogue two. Here is my invitation for you. Thank you. Let me have a look. Your wedding will be held on next Friday. Yes, as you see. Congratulations. Thank you. Will you come then? Of course I will. You are my best friend. Your best friend has a request for you. What is it? Would you like to be my bridesmaid? Oh, I'm glad to. I will make good preparations for it. Seventeen. In the beauty salon. Dialogue one. How can I help you? Well, I have oily skin. And there's always small bumps here and there on my face. They are really irritating. How can I get rid of them? 
Well, I would suggest that you wash your face often. Every night you should rinse your face with lukewarm water, then pat it dry with a clean towel. Make sure you don't rub it dry. Then you apply this cream to your face. Oh, this cream? Yeah, it's pretty effective in wiping out pore clogging dirt and oil. It rids your face of dead cells and helps stimulate circulation. Dialogue 2 Do you know anyone who's had plastic surgery? You mean like breast enlargement? I don't think that's really necessary. That's not the way a woman should stay attractive. Why not? Why can't we go back to the way things were? Because... I don't know. But Connie, you wouldn't do that, would you? Darned right I would. Maybe makeup would be enough. Come on, Liz. Be open-minded. I really hope surgery can wipe out the tired feelings. But what would other people think? I don't care what other people think. I'm ready for a lift. Eighteen. At the barber shop. Dialogue one. How would you like your hair today? The same style as usual? I have a special party to attend tonight, and I'd like to change my style. What about a perm? It sounds nice. Here are some samples of hairstyles. What do you think about this one? No, I don't like short hair. I like this one. The wave looks beautiful, and it fits my age, too. Very well. You are not in a hurry, are you? No, you can take your time. Oh, I also want a manicure while I'm having the perm. Okay. The manicurist will be right here. Thank you. How much will these two cost? It's $90 in all. Dialogue 2 Good afternoon, sir. Please sit here. A haircut and a shave, please. How would you like your haircut, sir? Short on both sides, not so much off at the back. Okay, do you want me to trim your beard? Yes, please. Now have a look, please. Is it all right? Well, I would like my haircut shorter on the temples. Do you want conditioner? No, thanks. But I'd like a facial massage. Nineteen. In the gym. Dialogue one. Hi, Mary. Hi, Jack. You look very healthy. Do you often take exercise recently? Yes, I do. I go to the gymnasium twice a week. That's good for you. What do you often do at the gym? There are many apparatus, such as running machine, dumbbell, dynamic bicycle, etc. Oh, that's too much for me. I want to do some light sports. For girls, yoga, bodybuilding exercise, and dancing are good choices. That sounds interesting. I'd like to go and have a try. Don't hesitate anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks for your information. You're welcome. Dialogue 2 I have been noticing you for quite a time. You look really strong, man. Thank you. I have kept taking exercise here for almost two years. Two years? That's amazing. I have only been here for two months. I don't think I can hold this on consistently and persistently. It's nothing difficult. You need to make yourself a plan at the beginning. Then just do according to it. Good idea. I also want to have strong muscle like yours. It is quite attractive. Do you have any advice? Sure. The bodybuilding apparatus are necessary for you. After exercise, you need to eat food contains carbohydrate. I will do as you said. Okay, I can't wait to see your progress. Thank you. It's very kind of you. You are welcome. Chapter 2 
Cars and Houses 1. Buying a House Dialogue 1 Hello, I'm calling about the apartment you advertised. Yes, what kind of apartment are you interested in? I'm interested in a one-bedroom. Do you have any available? Yes, I have one. When do you need it? Sometime around next week. Well, it's actually a one-bedroom apartment. May I come over tomorrow to take a look? Sure. What time would you like to come? How about 10 a.m.? Good. May I have your name, please? My name is Blanca. Thanks for calling, Blanca. I'll see you tomorrow. Dialogue 2 The apartment looks pretty decent. Around 120 square meters, right? Yes. What about the surrounding area? Very quiet and safe. And it's got a lot of trees and plants. That's good. Is the location easily accessible? Yep. It's near a bus stop. Hmm. Well, maybe we can buy this one then. When can you make a decision? I'll phone you as soon as possible. Two. Renting an apartment. Dialogue one. I've been told you might have a vacant room. Yes, I have a spare room. Would it be okay to look at the room now? Would you come here in 20 minutes? We are right here in the middle of dinner. This apartment looks nice. Yes, it has two bedrooms. That's convenient. How much is the rent? 2,500 yuan a month. This apartment is nice, but I'd like to find a cheaper one. Dialogue 2 I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for a room. Yes, I've got a small room. How much do you charge? $35 a week, but don't allow smoking. Okay. Anything else? Also, you can't have visitors, that's all. No problem. Can I see the room now? Would you mind waiting? I'm on the telephone. Well, take your time. I'll come back in a minute. See you. Three. Buying a car. Dialogue one. Did you go to the auto show yesterday? You mean the car exhibition in the exhibition center? Yeah, it is awesome. Unfortunately, I was quite busy yesterday, so I did not have time for it. Tell me something about it. There were many different kinds of cars of various brands, like BMW, Audi, and QQ. Those big car companies displayed their latest high-tech cars. Sounds interesting. Which car do you like most? I really don't know. They're all great. Actually, I'm planning to buy a car recently. Would you like to come with me? That's great. How about this Sunday? That's a deal. Dialogue 2 Oh my god, there are so many cars here. Which one should I choose? How about that black Honda over there? The car is okay, but I don't like the color. Black looks kind of gloomy. What do you think of that red Audi? It seems terrific. Of course it is terrific, but I'm afraid I cannot afford it. It is too expensive. Oh, look over there. I bet you will like that one. Which one? That white Toyota Vios over there. It looks bright and graceful. Yeah, you are right. Let's have a test drive first. Four. In the car rental shop. Dialogue one. How much is it to rent an economy car? Nineteen dollars a day or $129 a week. Is the mileage limited? No, unlimited mileage. Could I have one for tomorrow morning?
Do you have your driver's license? Sure. Here it is. Good. Now, just complete this form. Okay. Thank you. Dialogue 2 What's the rate for a station wagon? The daily rate is $32 plus 39 cents per mile. Good. I'll take it right now, if possible. Can I see your license, please? Of course. I have my own license and an international license. That's fine. Fill out this form and let me see your credit card, please. Oh, sorry. I forgot to take my credit card. That's okay. You can pay in cash. That would be better. Five. Filling the gas. Dialogue one. Fill it up with regular, please. All right. Any other problems? I don't know much about it. What's your idea? Should I take a look at your battery? No, thanks. I'm in a hurry. How much is it? Ten dollars, please. Here you are. Thank you. Dialogue two. Fill it up with premium, please. Sure. Should I check your radiator? No, that's okay. How much do I owe you? That's ten dollars. Fine. Do you want your windshield cleaned? Okay, thank you. But I don't have enough time. Please be quick. No problem. How much is it? It comes to ten dollars, too. Six. Parking fee. Dialogue one. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please give your parking card to me. Here you are. Your car has been parked here for two hours. How much is it charged per hour? Five yuan per hour. So I should pay ten yuan, right? Exactly. Here is twenty yuan. Ten yuan back. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Dialogue two. Do you still have a carport? Yes. Please head in. How much is it per hour? Ten yuan. It's so expensive. It's very common here. You see, we are near the station, and please remember there is a time limit for three hours. Oh, a time limit? This is an inequality clause. Whatever you say, this is our regulation. All right. I think I have to. Seven. At the car beauty shop. Dialogue one. Good morning. What can I do for you? Good morning. There is a scratch on the surface of my car. Can you help me clean it away? Let me have a look first. Yeah, I think I can. Actually, I think it is better to give your car a thorough car care. Is that necessary? I think it looks all right. Well, when you take a closer look, you will see the lacquer on the surface is slightly shedding, and the luster is lost now. Oh, I didn't notice that before. So I guess you are right. I'll take a thorough car care. Okay then, let's start. Dialogue two. You're looking unhappy. What happened? It is my car. Yesterday, my nephew accidentally made a scratch on the surface of my car. It looks weird. Oh, don't worry. Why not go to a car beauty shop? Car beauty shop? What's that? It's a shop where it can help you renew your car from inside out. So the scratch can be cleaned away? Sure. It is a piece of cake. Oh, thank you so much. I will go there tomorrow. Eight. Finding for over speed. Dialogue one. Excuse me, sir. Didn't you see the red light? Oh, I thought I could make a right turn on red here. 
No, sir. The sign says no turn on red. Oh, I guess I didn't see it. I'm sorry, sir, but may I see your driver's license and insurance policy, please? I have to give you a ticket. Here they are. Sign here, please. You can appeal to the court within 14 days. This slip has all the information you need. Please drive safely, sir. Thank you, officer. Dialogue 2 Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, officer. Would you please show me your driving license? Sure, here you are. Thank you. What's the matter, officer? Madam, you didn't fasten your seat belt. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know that is required. Yes, madam. It's required according to the traffic regulations. Okay, I see. But could you let me go this time? I'm sorry, madam. You have to pay the fine. Nine. Traffic accident. Dialogue one. Hey, you are driving too fast. Look at the traffic sign. It says the speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour. Don't be so serious. There are not many people and cars in the street. We will be fine. Hey, look out. Stop the car. Oh, I can't stop it. No. We just hit the man. What shall we do? Let me check out how the man is. Oh, thank God. He is alive. He is injured. Let's take him to the nearest hospital. It is my entire fault. I shouldn't have driven so fast. What is done cannot be undone. Let's go to the hospital first. Dialogue 2 Hello. Is this tried and true rent a car? Yes, it is. What can I do for you? This is Matt. I rented a car yesterday, and I'm afraid I have a car accident near the Central Park. Sorry to hear that. Are you all right? I'm all right, but my wife is seriously injured. Will you call an ambulance and the police? Okay, I'll do it right away, but can you tell me how it happened? I ran into the guardrail when I turned to the right. Ten. Repairing cars. Dialogue one. Hello, is this Adam's Auto Repair Shop? Yes, it is. Can I help you? Yes, please. This is Mr. Butter. I'm calling you about my car. Has it been mended yet? Not yet. It is being mended right now. I see. Tell me, when can I pick it up? Come by at two o'clock. I'm sure it will be ready by then. Thank you very much. See you then. Dialogue 2 Hey, buddy. What's up? Not much. But the brake of my car doesn't work very well. Could you check it for me? No problem. Give me a second. Take your time. Ah, I see. It is the pedal's problem. What should we do with that? No big deal. I'll lubricate it. Okay, here you go. Wow, thank you so much. You're terrific. Chapter 3 Family Life 1. Leaving and Returning Dialogue 1 Hey, Jill. Lovely day, isn't it? Hey, Bill. Long time no see. Yes. How are you getting on? Just so-so. What is the matter with you? You look a little off-color today. I'm recently very busy, also very tired. So I'm very vexed and so annoying. Is this work bone-breaking? Don't mention it. I'll have to do some extra work and come home late each day. If there's no future for this company, you might as well pack your bags and try your luck somewhere else. As soon as I can, I'm going to change job. Dialogue 2 
Oh, honey, you are eventually coming back. Yeah, work overtime again. You are very busy these days, going out early and coming back late every day. Yes, it is obvious that I have less time with you. Not exactly. Even though you are busy, you still remember to take care about me. You are very hard, too. My schedule is very flexible, and I'm given a lot of freedom. I'm okay. Really? How about preparing dinner for me? I've already done it hours ago. I've been waiting for you. Two. Dinner time. Dialogue one. John is visiting us tonight. Ah, good. Which would you like for dinner? Beef, chicken, or fish? I feel like some fish and chips for supper. Shall we dress some salad? Yes, it's fine. Let's get some lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers for salad and some of these spices. Garlic, parsley, ginger, and green onions for seasoning. We happen to have all of these. We arranged to come over to us at six o'clock. Let's roll up sleeves and begin to prepare for supper. Did you wash your hands well? Not yet. I'll be there momentarily. Dialogue two. Is dinner ready? Yes, come and get it. What's good tonight? Do you need some help? Today we're having hamburg steak. Wow, chicken noodle clam chowder soup. It's really delicious. Spread a cloth over the table. Strain the fat off before you serve the soup. I'll be right there. Don't spill it. Help me set the table, will you? It's all ready. Fetch your father in for the dinner. He has to make a telephone call first and let us go ahead. Okay, let's eat. Three. Doing the cleaning. Dialogue one. This kitchen's a mess. We should indeed do some cleaning. Have you anything else to do? Nothing important. Now then, get about the job at once. I will go and wash out one or two rags. What a dump! Especially this side of the glass is filthy. If the oil blur on the surface of the glass is too thick to wipe off with dry cloth, wet the cloth with ether. That goes for me too. I'll bring it over. By the way, could you wash the rags? Please throw me that. Catch, please. Dialogue two. Nice weather we're having. Yes, but you see, our bedroom's very untidy. Let's clean it up at once. I have some business to attend to and need to go out at once. Would you mind us clearing it up tonight? I'm sorry, I was engaged for a shopping this evening. Some other time then? Please keep your things together. I'll see to the rest. I'm really sorry for that. I cannot help you. Oh, never mind. Have you taken your dirty coat? Yes. I've hurled the dirty clothes into the washing machine just now. Okay, you may go. Leave it to me. Four. Watching TV. Dialogue one. What would you like to do this evening? I haven't thought it through. It's okay with TV. Let's check the TV schedule to see what's on tonight. What are the attractions? Nothing at all. Here are all the news. What's on following the news? A pop show on Channel Seven, and there is a science fiction on Channel Five. I don't want to watch the news. Let me change the entertainment channel, would you? Sure. I do not watch game shows for a long time. Dialogue two. What channel did you watch last night after I went to bed? Channel one. I watched an English language program. Pity there was a football match on channel two. Really? That's a shame. 
You ought to remind me of that. This program is a rebroadcast this morning. You may watch it then. Well, I think I will have to. What come on next? I want to see the horse racing. Me too. Let's watch it together. Five. Tutoring the child. Dialogue one. When do you take your finals? Is it two weeks before it? Did you revise the lessons before class? Not yet. Pick up your pace. It's getting late. I see, Mom. I'm just going to. Shall we go over your English exercises together? I can do it alone. You have been working for a whole day. Just go to sleep early. Don't worry about me. I'm not tired. All right then. Where is your exercise book? I cannot find it in your school bag. I have taken it out and put it onto the table. Dialogue two. How did you do on your math examination? What a shame! I failed in this examination. What are the reasons? That exam was not very hard. As a matter of fact, I have no interest in math. Interest is the best teacher. I believe that it is most important to develop your interest. That's how I feel as well. But I can't work up any interest in it. Do you think you need to join a remedial class? Well, there is no other way. Your midterm exams are almost here. I decide to help you from this evening. What do you think of it? Thanks, Mom. You are really a great mom. Six. Time for bed. Dialogue one. Did you finish your homework? I have just finished, and I want to watch more TV. You have to get up early tomorrow. Hurry up and go to sleep. Okay. Are you ready for tomorrow? Sorry, I'm going to make it up. Have you set up the alarm clock? Yes, I set the alarm for seven o'clock just now. Make sure you brush your teeth. Brushing them regularly helps to ward off tooth decay. You have said for the tenth time. I won't forget it. Sweet dreams. Thanks, and you too. Dialogue two. What are you doing, Jack? I'm playing video games. Enough with your video games. It's time to go to bed. No need to go to sleep. It's still early. We'll give you a few minutes to play through. How about ten minutes? You have to get up early tomorrow morning, and you'd better turn in early tonight and get a good night's rest. I see. Okay. It's so hot. Would you like to take a bath? Sounds good. Could you run me a hot bath? Ugh. I am running the bath water. Thanks, Dad. Seven. Domestic expenses. Dialogue one. How much money did we spend last month? No idea, but I keep a record of our costs. What about the living expenses? I have never counted them. Won't you let me have a look? Oh, we barely made both ends meet last month. Yes, our expenses are mounting up. You know the cost of everything is rising. Take a squint at this; they are rarely needed. Yes, you are right, but I thought they're necessary at that time. We need to keep our spending in check. Well, I remember that. We should organize our spending so that we don't live beyond our means. I promise. I will keep a tight rein on expenditure from now on. Dialogue two. Yesterday I got the gas and water bills. How much is this going to cost? About three hundred dollars. By what date do we have to pay? This Saturday. 
I have to drop by the bank to get some money. How much money are you going to draw from the bank? Four hundred dollars. Could you get more money? I have no cash on hand. I'd like to buy our kids' clothes at a secondhand store. All right. I'll go with you. Eight. Family pet. Dialogue one. Son, what do you want for your birthday gift? I'd like to keep a pet. What pet would you like to keep? Guinea pig, parrot, rabbit, tortoise, dog, or? Can I have a Siberian husky? Okay, the husky is unequaled for stamina and endurance. I want to buy a little puppy. I promise you, you'll like it when you see. Dialogue two. Which of you is going to walk the dog? It's Mary's turn to take the dog for a walk. Okay, Mary, please. Oh, by the way, when was the last time you cleaned out the dog kennel? It smells to high heaven. The exact date has escaped me. Half month ago, maybe. It needs to be well swept out. Hand it over to me. And the dog needs a bath. Carl, run the bath for the dog while Mary walks it. Okay, I'll get ready to go and shampoo him later. Shampooing them too often is not a good idea, as shampoo tends to strip the natural oils out of their coats. Then just bath the dog with clean water. Nine. Weekend plan. Dialogue one. Hey, what shall we do at the weekend? I've no idea about that. What about go skiing? Last Saturday, my colleague went skiing at Holmenkollen, located in Oslo. This is the most famous ski jump in Norway, which is also the biggest in the world. Fantastic! How was that? Really good. They strongly recommend that we should try it sometime. This weekend, I'd like to go skiing there. But I'd like to stay at home and keep my grandmother company. I'll go and talk about it to her. Maybe she likes to go with us together. A family trip sounds very good. Dialogue two. What are your plans for the weekend? I have to work overtime this weekend. What about you, John? This weekend with Lucy. Where should I take her? How about going to the cinema? I went to the cinema with her last weekend. Does she like to go shopping? Girls in general like to shop for new clothes. Yes, she spends much of her spare time roaming about the streets. Why not go shopping with her? Well, I think it will have to do. Where are some good places for shopping? You should do some shopping in Wang Fu Jing Street and Shidan Street. Ten. Receiving guests. Dialogue one. Who is it? It's me, Mary. Could you buzz me in? Sure. Come right in. Wow, beautiful home you have here. Thank you. How nice of you come with us. Let me have your coat. Okay. Let me take off my shoes first. Would you please leave your bag here? Oh yeah. Please have your seat. Shall I get a drink for you? Yes, a cup of tea, please. Fine. Enjoy yourself. Thanks. Dialogue two. Hey, Jack. Hey, Mary. I'm glad you could come. Come on, please. We are all waiting for you. Is everybody here? Tom's on his way and will be here in a moment. Sit anywhere you like, please. Okay. Suppose we wait a while. Can I watch the news on television? Of course. Will you have a drink? I'd like a glass of water, please. There are some fruits and nuts on the table. Do you like eating mango? A nice fresh mango is my favorite fruit. Then have one. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Eleven. 
Decorating the room. Dialogue 1. Well, have you bought a place on the lake? Yes, we're having it decorated at the moment. Is it so? We've hired a professional to decorate the house, and we gave them a free hand in doing our apartment over. Is your house the fine repair? Yes. The guest rooms will be furbished with luxurious carpets and fittings. You certainly seem to have cost a lot on the decoration of your house. Yes, it costs me quite some bucks. Dialogue 2 Bill, the bedroom needs doing over. Let me see. Scrape off all the loose flakes of paint before redecorating. But I haven't employed an interior decorator. Why don't we let Bob decorate our sitting room for us? He's a dab hand at decorating. How could we forget him? But I've heard that he's got a very busy timetable this week. Maybe we should wait until next week. Okay, and I'd like to push out new wings of the buildings. We can consider it. Uh, shall we redecorate the parlor? Yes. Maybe we can decorate a style concise and lively. Twelve. Settling down in a new place. Dialogue one. What day is it today? It's Thursday. I'd like to have a celebration of the occupancy of a new home. That sounds all right. We're all steamed up to move to our new house. What about Johnny? Has he moved to his new house yet? Yes. They established themselves in their new house. Excellent. We're going to celebrate it together. How do you want to celebrate it? Maybe we could celebrate by getting loaded on champagne. Okay with me. It's a deal. I'll take care of his family. Dialogue 2 I'm glad you could come. Come in and have a look at our new house. Congratulations on your move. What is the layout of this house like? Your new house is certainly out of the ordinary. This is a new house with a huge garden out back in a very quiet area of London. That's terrific. I am jealous of you. My boyfriend can't afford a new house, and no more can I. You will have your own in the future. Do come to our house whenever it's convenient for you. The garden will help to take you out of yourself. I hope your new dwelling will bring you and yours lots of fortune and good health. Thanks. Chapter 4 Social Communication 1. Greeting and Saying Goodbye Dialogue 1 Hi, Bob. How are you going? Not good. I failed in the exam. Really? Yes, the English exam. You didn't work hard this term, right? Yes, I play computer games very often. Do you have the chance to take the exam one more time? I think I have. I'll call my teacher and ask him about that. Okay, study by your heart. You are a clever boy, I think. Thanks. I need a lot of exercises. Wish you pass. Bye. Bye. Dialogue 2 Hi, Judy. How are you? Hi, Lucy. I'm fine. And you? Fine, thanks. Why are you here? I want to buy a gift for my father's birthday. Have you decided what to buy for him? Not yet. A watch is cool, I think. I think so, but I don't have so much money. Right. What about a book? Good idea. I'll find a book that I can afford. Okay, I gotta go. See you. See you later. Two. Introducing to each other. Dialogue 1. Hi, Bridget. How are you? Hi, Lena. I'm fine, thanks. I don't think you have met my friend Sue Hua yet. 
She is from China. Let me introduce you to each other. Lena, this is Su Hua. Su Hua, this is Lena. Hi, I am Lena. Nice to meet you. Hi, Lena. I am Su Hua. Nice to meet you. I have been to China before. It is pretty awesome. I am crazy about Chinese cuisine. Yeah, it is a huge country. Both Bridget and I were volunteers of Olympics, and after that, we became good friends. That's cool. Check this out. Ni hao, wo shi lina. That's amazing. Thanks. I got to hang out with my friends now. I think I see them over there. Dialogue two. Hi, Li Hua. How are you? Fine, thanks. It's difficult to see you in the park, uh huh? Well, my sister came to my house. I have to take care of her. Your sister? Is she here? Yes, Li Mei. Come here, please. This is my best friend Mary. Hello, Mary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How old are you? I'm two years younger than my sister. I'm sixteen. So you came here to your sister's house for a holiday? Yes, it's a very long holiday. Okay, I have to go. Bye, Li Hua and Li Mei. Three. Inviting others. Dialogue one. I'd like to take you for dinner. It's my treat. Great, thank you. What do you feel like? How about Chinese food? Great. When is it convenient for you? Any weekend will do. How about this coming Sunday evening? Sounds fantastic. Will you pick me up at my house? No problem. Is seven on the nose all right? That will be fine. See you then. See you then. Dialogue two. How about going out for a bite? I better not. Oh, come on. Let's go. Well, I guess I'll stay home. I still have work to do. I need to finish my report before Monday. Where are you now? Just started. But you can catch up at the weekend. I know this restaurant serves nice beef, and the service is good too. Okay, I'll go. I need to take a break anyway. I'll get my coat. Four. Arranging an appointment. Dialogue one. Hello, Peter. This is John. I'm calling to see if you would like to have lunch tomorrow. Hello, John. I'm sorry, but tomorrow isn't very convenient for me. Oh, I see. Perhaps we can make it later. What about the day after tomorrow? That would be better. Is twelve o'clock okay for you? Perfect. So where are we going? What about the restaurant around the corner? The pie there is impressive. It sounds lovely. Where shall we meet? I think we could meet at the door. Got it. Twelve at the door, right? Exactly. Dialogue two. Are you free tomorrow evening? Yes, I am free. What's up? We're going to throw a birthday party, and I wonder if you could come. Great. I'd like to come. What time does the birthday party start? People should be coming around six p.m. When does the party end? Around one a.m. in the morning. That sounds good. Where do you live? Twenty-five thirty-seven East Thirty-second Avenue. Okay, I'll call you if I get lost. And by the way, can I bring anything? Sure, no problem. Well, would you like to bring a pie or cake? Sure. I can make an apple pie. It's my specialty. Five. Apology and responses. Dialogue one. Excuse me. I think I booked a room with a nice view to the beach, but the room I stay is facing a wall. 
May I know your name? I am Mr. Chen. Hold on a second. I am checking the reservation. I have your reservation of a room with a fine view of the beach. I think it is undoubtedly our fault. Please accept my apologies. I accept your apology. Is there any room in which I can enjoy the eyesight of the beach? I am afraid that all the rooms with a view to the beach have been booked. That is really disappointing. I am sorry about that. It doesn't matter. Dialogue 2 I apologize for stamping on your foot. I didn't do it on purpose. It is really crowded here. I beg your pardon. You didn't hurt me at all. Don't worry about it. Please don't be angry about my foolish behavior. I can't believe that I smeared your white shoes. Here is some paper handkerchief. Here you go. Thank you. Where are you going? Dong Den. Sorry I didn't catch you. Will you please kindly repeat it? Sure. Dong Dan. I got it. I am getting off one stop ahead. Nice talking to you. Me too. Six. Thankfulness and responses. Dialogue one. You look very nice today, Mary. Thank you. Is that a new dress? It is very pretty. Yes, I just got it the other day when shopping with my mom. Light blue suits you very well. It matches your eyes. Thanks. I like it very much. I am thinking about buying a pair of sandals to go with it. What color do you think will go well? Maybe white will look very good. Thank you for your suggestion. Not at all. Are you interested in shopping with me on Saturday? Thanks for inviting me. I'd love to. You are welcome. Dialogue 2 John, I have read your article. I think it is pretty good. Thank you. But I suggest that you change the title into a more interesting one. A better title will attract readers' attention and provoke their interests. Thanks for your comments and directions. I will work on it. What do you think will be better? What about how to stay healthy without pills? It sounds great. Thank you for your help. The pleasure is mine. I am sure you will become a distinguished writer with your masterpieces. Seven. Congratulating others. Dialogue one. John told me you were promoted to be the manager of advertisement department. Yes, I got the notice last week. Congratulations on your promotion. Now all the efforts pay off. Thank you very much. I knew you would come out successfully some day. You have that ability of leadership in you. Oh, you flatter me. It is very kind of you. You are welcome. Actually, there are many new responsibilities on my shoulders now. I'm just learning the rope. Your comments and directions are welcome. Don't be so courteous. Dialogue 2 Congratulations on the birth of your child. Thank you. It's a boy. You must be excited now. Of course. It has been my dream for years. Does he have a name? They named him Robert. I named my baby Small Potato. Good name for a boy. And you seemed to pick up quickly. Yes, he's natural labor. Eight. Holiday Wishes. Dialogue One. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Please convey my best wishes to your parents. Thank you, the same. Are you doing anything special? I'm going to a party tomorrow night. Want to come? Great. I'd like to come. Thank you for inviting me. When will the party start? You are welcome. Around six o'clock. See you then. See you then. Dialogue 2 Happy Spring Festival!
Happy Spring Festival! It is a traditional Chinese holiday, right? What do you always do on spring festivals? We spend the holiday with family traditionally, but since I am an American now, I will celebrate it with some friends. We are going to make some dumplings. Would you like to come? Great! I love dumplings. Sure, I will be there. And it will be great if you dress in red. It is the propitious color in China. Really? I never know that. Thank you for telling me. I wish you all the best. Thank you. I wish you the very best of luck. Nine. Asking for help. Dialogue one. Excuse me. I have a favor to ask you. Sure. What is it? I am wondering if there is any good restaurant around. Oh yes, there is a noodle shop. Could you show me the way to it? Go down to the corner and turn right. Go straight ahead until you come to a traffic light. Turn left there. It's the second or third house on your right. It is easy to find. You can't miss it. Thank you for your help. You have done me a great favor. No bother. And the seafood noodle there is amazing. You should give it a shot. Thank you for your recommendation. I will try. Dialogue two. May I ask you a favor? Tell me what you need. May I borrow your car tomorrow? Sorry, I can't. My car is broken and under repair. Sorry that I can't help. It's okay. I will ask others. You could take a chance with John. He has a car too. He might be willing to lend. Thank you. I will call him later. Sorry. Tell me if there is anything I can do for you. I will. Thank you. Ten. Agreement and disagreement. Dialogue one. Good morning, Miss Wong. Good morning, Mr. Gates. What a fine day! Why don't we go to the cinema? That's a good idea, but I have something important to do right now. Oh, what a pity! What about tomorrow? There will be a new film on show. Harry Potter six. Yes, it is. What do you think of it? I'm looking forward to see it. It's very worthwhile to see. You are right, but when and where shall we meet? What about eight tomorrow morning at the Capital Cinema? Okay. See you tomorrow. See you. Dialogue two. B. Do you have time tonight? Yes, of course. Look, C has invited me to his birthday party. Do you want to go with me? I'd love to. I think we should bring him a gift. I can't agree with you any more. What do you think? What does he like? What about a bottle of wine? Maybe not. He doesn't drink. How about a DVD version of *Slumdog Millionaire*? That's his favorite movie. Sounds awesome. Let's go to the DVD store now. Sure. Eleven. Suggestions and opinions. Dialogue one. You're from New York, aren't you? Yes, that's right. What do you suggest I should see in New York? Well, how about the Museum of Modern Art? No, I don't like museums. They are boring. Why don't you go to see the Empire State Building? Ah, that sounds interesting. Dialogue two. You are not looking happy. What's the matter? Oh, nothing special. I'm just a bit tired. With the job? With everything, with everybody, with all this. A good suggestion for you. You need a holiday. It wasn't always like this, you know. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we always do the same thing. There's no variety in our lives. You need a holiday. That's what the matter is. Certainly, perhaps.